The FAA and National Transportation Safety Board are still buzzing around the Mid-South after a number of plane crashes. There are more than 250,000 registered planes nationwide. Of those, three to four a day are involved in some type of accident. But in less than a week, five people have been killed in four separate crashes in the Mid-South. Tommy Stafford has more on the story we first told you about Sunday and on what may be causing those crashes. From high above, it's barely noticeable. What's left of Monday's crash that killed 27-year-old crop dusting pilot Lewis Lester? Monday's crash is the fourth since Saturday. Dick Reed, who's been flying and building planes for nearly 50 years, says the hot and humid weather makes a definite difference. We use the word density altitude in aviation. And as the temperature gets hotter, the air, of course, is thinner. And you take more power to get off the runway, and it takes more lift to keep the airplanes airborne. Investigators from St. Louis at Monday's crash in Haiti couldn't comment on camera, but did say the weather can be a factor in accidents if pilots don't take runway length and passenger and cargo loads into consideration when planning flights. And the instructors say it's something they're always looking for. When I take off on one of these days where the density altitude is so bad, I'm lucky if I get 300 feet a minute. That means I've got to roll longer on the runway. I've got to be sure I keep my power up and don't make any steep climb out. Now it will be months before the Federal Aviation Administration and the National Transportation Safety Board will issue their official findings on the crashes. But Tim, we're both pilots, and this term density altitude, it's almost certain to play a factor in some of those crashes. Well, Tommy, simply put, density altitude is referring to how dense the air is. Let me uh, best illustrate it this way. At 2 o'clock this afternoon, the temperature in Eugene, Oregon was 64 degrees. In Memphis, it was 97 degrees. At cooler temperatures, as you've heard just a few moments ago, uh, there are more molecules in the air, whereas uh, temperatures of 97 degrees, there are fewer molecules in the air. And with that, uh, those airplanes actually need that lift as they push these molecules aside to attain that lift. So at this point, heat does definitely affect aircraft performance. Let me further illustrate. At 120 degrees, a 727 is going to take 10,600 uh, 10, feet of runway to get off the ground. Now, when you take that temperature back down to 59 degrees, it'll take 3,000 feet shorter runway for that plane uh, to get off the ground. So density altitude uh, could figure into these uh, aircraft uh, crashes across the Mid-South. We'll find out in several months, but at this point, I would definitely say weather is at least suspect. 